Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. In this video, I'm going to be going over the Blue Eddy AC50B power station. This is a 700 watt power station, you guys. And right now, you can see right there, it's at 26% battery capacity. So this has a quick charge feature. You're supposed to be able to charge it up to 80% within 45 minutes. Now, right now, <laughs> you guys can't see it. But I have a light already plugged into the power station and uh, putting it to good use. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to be reviewing this, going over a lot of the features. We're going to be giving it a workout in this video. The first thing that I want to do is plug it in and let it charge for 45 minutes. See if we can get it to 100%. So let's do it. We've got three different ways we can charge this. I actually have a solar panel that we're going to be testing out later. This is our solar panel cord here. We can also charge this from our car battery. You can plug it into the cigarette lighter area. And we have your regular house outlet um, plug here. That's what I'm going to charge it with now. I'm just going to spin this around. We're going to lift this door right here. And that's where we're going to plug in. Right there. Okay. Plug that into our power. And let's go ahead and turn this DC off. Turn that light off, and there you go. You hear it, you can see it's got the indicator that it's charging, the little blue circle, and you can also hear it. Hey Siri, set a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, counting down. Okay guys, it's been 45 minutes, um, yeah, 70%. So it's only charged about maybe 45%. Okay, so, I've been reading through the manual. It actually has a turbo charge setting. So I think it's something I have to set using the buttons or there's also an app that connects through Bluetooth in order to get the turbo charge. So, all right, a little painful. It took me about 15 minutes to download the app, figure out how to turn on the Bluetooth here and to change the, the uh, charging mode. <laughs> we got. All right, guys, super lightweight, 14.7 pounds. You get 3,000 charging cycles, comes with a five-year warranty. It's got the lithium iron phosphate battery, and uh, yeah, really lightweight. So, all right, let's keep moving. All right, so this bad boy is charged to about um, 99%. I'm going to go ahead and hook up the cord for charging this in the truck. Put that in there. Plug in here. Okay. You see the, the flashing, the flashing blue light right there, it's charging. I probably got 10 minutes to get to where I want to get to, and uh, we'll let it charge while we're heading over that way. All right, guys, one of the things I like about this little charger is I can actually set it down here, kind of on the floorboard of my truck. Yeah, it fits down there nicely. If I'm camping or something and I need to charge devices, I can lock the, the power station up in my truck and plug my power cords in and devices, recharge GoPro batteries and stuff like that. All right, guys, we got us a, got us a new e-bike today. And uh, right now, 67%, so I need to charge it up to 100%. And I don't have power where I keep this stored. So let's get this uh, AC50B Blue Eddy plugged in to the e-bike here, and uh, we'll get it charged. Right now, it's pulling 170 watts, and it's saying there's... 2.4 hours remaining on the uh, AC50B Blue Eddy. So, all right, so we're just gonna leave that plugged in. We'll come back in a couple hours and see if it fully charges the e-bike. All right, guys, it's been about two and a half hours. My uh, charger on the e-bike is showing green light. Let's see what we got left on the Blue Eddy. Ah, 2% battery charge. Good deal. All right, we'll check the e-bike, see if it's uh, fully charged. Look at that, 100%. All right, so these power stations, they have different applications, right? You don't always have to be camping. You can use them when you're on the construction job or if you have a storage unit that doesn't have any electricity. So, all right, good deal. All right, we are back at the Rad Reeling headquarters. I'm going to plug in the Blue Eddy power station, recharge it. Now that I have it set on turbo charge through the app setting, um, it should take 70 minutes to charge at 100%. We're going to set a timer and see how that works out. All right, we got it plugged in. Hey Siri, set a timer for 70 minutes. 70 minutes starting now. Okay, here we go. All right guys, we got two minutes and five seconds. 
and it is charged at 99%. Guys, it literally hit 100% right after I said good deal. <laughs> okay, Rad Reelers, it is the next day and I've kind of got a situation. The power's out. Ah, there we go. Now we have some lights. Nice. Good deal. So I can go on about my business this morning. I got some editing to do. I got a, my coffee maker that I generally take with me camping. I want to get some coffee going here. I forget how many watts this little coffee maker pulls. You know what? I want to conserve. I want to conserve on battery power. So rather than running both of these lights, let's just go with one for now. A couple scoops for the cup of coffee. Let's plug into this other one there. Oh, coffee maker just came on automatically, so it's going to start making coffee. Let's see uh, how many watts we're pulling here. We're pulling 646 watts, guys, right here. And uh, we're pushing this thing to the max. And it actually says, yeah, that coffee maker is pulling a lot of watts, so it's going to burn this battery capacity up pretty fast. This has a 448 watt hour battery. All right, coffee maker finished. Let's see what we got here. We have a remaining 18.4 hours with the light being on and also the phone charging. I went ahead and brought out my laptop because I've got some work to do this morning. Okay, to get everything set up to do my work this morning, I needed some more outlets. There's only two AC outlets and one USB DC outlet here. Um, I've got my phone plugged into the DC outlet, so I went ahead and got out my power strip, which has the USB ports. And we need to transfer our coffee into our rad reeling fishing mug. All right, so it is summertime. Uh, let's turn this little light around here. You guys can see I got me a fan out. Let's go over everything that's pulling power. Um, on the top right here, I have this light plugged in. Uh, below that, I have the power strip plugged in. Plugged into the power strip is the laptop here, which is charging. Um, over here, I've got the fan plugged in, which is also running. In the front with USB-C, I am charging a GoPro battery, and also the light that I'm using for filming is plugged in to the power bank. Um, down here on the one USB port on the power station, I am charging my Apple iPhone. So that is everything that's pulling power. Let's come around and take a look at the power station and see what kind of time that we're gonna have left. With everything plugged in um, right now, I've got three hours, about three hour, 3.2 hours, and the, uh, the power station is at 88%. We started 100% this morning, so I wanna just go ahead and reduce that amount. Um, so what I'm gonna do here, guys, just for sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and just click on this filming light and let's turn this off and uh, okay that's going to save us a little bit but i think what's really pulling a lot of the power is this fan right here so i'm going to go ahead and turn the fan off because it's not really hot in here all right guys so i went ahead and turned the fan off it is not blazing hot in here so that increased our battery capacity um, output is going to be 4.7 hours all right, let me read you some of the facts, uh, some question and answer things here. Can I use third-party solar panels to charge this product? Yes, you can. However, make sure your solar panels have an open circuit voltage of 12 volts dash 28 volts and are equipped with MC4 connectors. It's also important not to mix different types of solar panels. All right, your next question. Can it charge and discharge at the same time? Yes, it supports pass-through charging. The AC50B comes with the premium LifePo 4 battery and proprietary battery management system to ensure that it can charge and discharge at the same time. Next question, what is ECO mode and can I turn it off? ECO mode is a power saving mode that is enabled by default when operating on ECO mode, the AC-DC output will automatically turn off if the AC-50B is bearing low default 10W for AC, 5W for DC, or no load for a while. 
You can adjust these thresholds using the app if needed. When connecting a small power device, disable the ECO mode for a successful and uninterrupted charging experience. Next question, why is the charging power often too low? AC50B has a built-in intelligent BMS. BMS means battery management system that automatically adjusts the charging power in response to the battery temperature and SOC, capital S, small o, C, comma, thus protecting the battery and extending its service life. So a few question and answers in here about this particular unit. All right, I'm going to do some work on the laptop. We're going to run the battery power down a little bit. And then it's a bit of a cloudy day, but we're going to go plug in the solar panel, 200 watt solar panel that Blue Eddie sent me as well. And we're going to see how this will charge uh, today. We got a bit of an overcast day, but we should be able to get some solar charging done on the unit. I am screen recording. I'm going to go ahead and open the Blue Eddie app. We're going to take a look at this a little bit here. Um, I'm going to click on my devices. And here's the AC50B. We'll click on that. It's saying it's used 14% of the battery power. So you can see here we've got 86% remaining. Um, so I can, I can control the DC and the AC outlets. You can see there at the bottom. Um, if I push the, the DC, I turn that off. That is, uh, yeah. That turns off the charging on my phone. So you see the charger went off on my phone. I'm going to turn that back on. My phone just came back on and is charging. You can see there at the top. Now, if I turn the AC outlet off, I believe what's going to happen is my filming light is going to go off. We'll turn, yep, I just turned the whole power station off. So I can control this from my app. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a demonstration of the app and uh, a little bit of how that functions. All right, guys, want to be able to finish up this video. So I got my I got my Blue Eddy solar panel here. We got some got some good sunshine, a little bit of a breakthrough of the sun through the clouds. So I want to go ahead and get this solar demonstration done here. So this is my 200 watt Blue Eddy solar panel, and uh, it's got a nice handle here. Back on the back. Of this solar panel is a pouch where you keep all the cords so let's go ahead and get the cord out that we're going to need it's the adapter and this is the uh the wired in cord so let me get that set up we got some latches here on the solar panel that we undo to get it to fold out I do recall down here i think these are yeah these are velcro these will help us uh get this power station to stand up at the, the proper angle. It's got adjustments here, different snaps, so you can get the correct angle for it. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on 45 degrees. Oh, that's a big panel, guys. Tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring the power station back behind so it's actually in the shade of the solar panel. Right here's where we plug in the uh, charging adapter couple of different connectors you got a male and a female and a male and a female let's take a look at what our display has here let's turn that back on um, 156 watts is what we're pulling from the sun at the moment and um, yeah it looks like in about 0.5 hours that we are going to be fully charged here let me show you the whole setup what we got on going on here we got our solar panels that are uh yeah they're pulling some good sunlight a little bit of clouds up there but pulling some good good sunlight so back here you've got one two and we've got three supports those fold down so that you can collapse that solar panel up nicely we've got our power station down here let's see what kind of yeah we're pulling 153 watts from the sun right now and uh yeah it's charging up really good so and i've got that in the shade of the solar panel so that it doesn't get direct heat from the sun that'll help that power station stay cooler so guys there you go all right yeah so i live in southwest florida right 
uh, kind of a direct path for these hurricanes over the past 10 years. So it's good for me to have backup power. Um, you know, several times when we've had bad storms, the power goes out. Um, this way, you know, I'll have my truck gassed up. If there's not sunshine and I can't really charge the power station with the solar panel, I can always plug it in, charge it through my truck. And also, I don't have a gas generator, but you can also charge the power station through a gas generator as well. So it has several alternatives for charging the power station. So that's gonna wrap it up, you guys. I'm grateful to Blue Eddy for sending over the power station and the solar panel. So I'll have links in the description area to these products. And also there's a discount code, you guys. Head over to Blue Eddy and I check out everything that they have to offer. Use that discount code, and save you some money. All right, thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up or appreciate it. Everybody, get out there and go fishing, man. Camping or whatever. Life is fun. Live it. See ya! Yeah.